And I, I want to give you a little, little tiny sermonette here. You got just a minute, and I give you a little bitty sermonette. I'm not going to be politicking. <laughs> I, we, I don't know that we have anybody to politic for, but anyway. But we, we could all learn a lesson from what's going on in the news for the last two days. A really, really, really important lesson. The most important lesson probably that we could ever know in our life of how important our words are. Do you believe that? How did this whole earth get here? God created it by what? By speaking, by his words. And he tells us that we're justified and we're condemned by what? The words of our mouth. He tells us there's life and death in the power of our tongue. Not just this little tongue, but the things that this little tongue says. The power of life and death in it. And then when the boy in the Bible was sick and the Jesus was there and the centurion said, you don't even have to go by my house, Jesus. You know, you're busy. Just speak the word only and he shall be healed. So when, when you get ready to speak words, remember that they're life and death. They may be life and death to the person you're talking about. You may be destroying their reputation or their character. And once they're out there, you can't get them back. Your uncle J.R. used to have a little saying. That he said, if you take a feather pillar, and you, you know, y'all don't even know what a feather pillar is, but we did back then, you know, they put feathers in, you remember? They put feathers in. He said, if you take that out and you shake it out over the mountain, you'll never get them all back out. And these words that come out your mouth, you ain't never going to get them back in there. They're once they're out there, it's free reign. And then we have this wonderful thing called Facebook. <laughs> and when you print it on there, you sure to God ain't never going to get that back. If when it's on paper or it's on tape, you ain't going to get that back. You send somebody an ugly letter, you see if they ever bring it back and say, well, let's just burn this and forget it. And now they'll hold on it. They might use it on you someday along the way. But it's your words that was printed there. So be really careful when the words come out of your mouth. And guard your mouth because you wouldn't want to be the one on the receiving end of something really ugly, would you?